Our AI glasses are enabling a future where creativity and community are at the core of every experience. We want to create an ecosystem that empowers developers to bring their ideas to life. Today, we're introducing the Meta Wearables Device Access Toolkit, our first ever development toolkit designed to integrate mobile apps with our growing portfolio of AI glasses. Hey there, developers. My name is Valentina Chacon Buitrago, and I'm a software engineer on the Wearables Developer Platform team. Our team has worked on creating this kit that allows you to access capabilities on our AI glasses across iOS and Android applications. We are launching the developer preview in advance of the official launch plan in 2026, and we are fully committed to working closely with our developer community. In this preview, you will be able to provide feedback and have early access to the SDK and testing tools. You'll also be able to access our Wearables Developer Center, which will be your go-to place to manage your integrations built using our toolkit and access documentation and sample applications. I will start this session by showing you a high-level overview of the toolkit's capabilities and what it will enable you to do as a developer. We'll cover common ground about the type of experiences you'll be able to build and how they work. We'll then explore how you can integrate the SDK using one of our sample applications. And finally, we'll check how you can extend these capabilities to cover a variety of use cases. Let's start with capabilities. The SDK allows your app to connect directly with our AI glasses and enables you to leverage a range of the glasses capabilities. In our developer preview, we provide APIs to handle media streaming, photo capture, and robust error handling. Also, to test your app integration locally, we offer developer mode that works with AI glasses, as well as a mock device kit for testing without a physical device. Now that we have an understanding of what's inside our toolkit, let's dive into how we can build experiences with it. So where do we start? The SDK supports session-based experiences. This means sessions are your entry point to building experiences with the SDK. A session is a secure and optimized connection between your app and the AI glasses, which is initiated when you start the app. Sessions have two main responsibilities. First, accessing the device's sensors, such as the camera, and second, handling interruptions, such as receiving a phone call or taking off the glasses. The session is also how we convey information to the person using the glasses. For example, we notify them when the app will start using the glasses camera. The first version of our developer toolkit uses sessions to incorporate the experience into your mobile app. This means you will need to create and manage sections directly from your application, which will allow for interactions between your classes and the app. You might have even used sessions already, for example, in live experiences such as live translation or calling via WhatsApp. Behind the scenes, when you first pair the glasses with your app, the registration process creates a non-forgeable data token between your app and classes. Once registered, you can create sessions designed to manage connections based on battery, thermals, and data size constraints, ensuring the best experience for your app and its users. With the knowledge of sessions-based experiences, let's see how the integration of the SDK in an application actually looks like. We will use the Camera Access Sample app, an iOS and Android application that will be part of our learning resources. This sample app will demonstrate the toolkit's core functionalities, including managing the connection state of the app with the glasses, video streaming, capturing images, and timer-based session management, all from a very simple intuitive interface. The application opens to a welcome screen where people can connect the glasses. Once connected, the sample app provides controls to start or stop a live video stream, along with timer options for managing stream sessions. You can also take images using the glasses camera view them directly within the app, and share or save them through the system sharing options. The first step in integrating an application with our AI classes is completing the registration flow. This initial registration flow is critical to allow secure authentication and connection between the sample app and the MedAI app, which allows you to have an abstracted interaction between the sample app and the AI classes. There are three different elements to have in mind while introducing the registration flow in your app. First you'll need to include the Connect button from the SDK into your app. This button manages most of the secure registration process, including handling pairing your app with a device and requesting OS-level permissions such as Bluetooth if needed. Through it, the SDK allows pairing the app with the glasses with an information view in the MetaAI app. Second, you will have to complete a developer setup. Update your app's configuration in the info.plist and the android-manifest.xml to ensure the SDK can request and manage the necessary access. Then, 
you should register your app in the Wearables Developer Center to generate an integration bundle needed to connect and request permissions from the device. Finally, you need to handle the connection approval returned from the MetaAI app. Based on your app's profile in the Wearables Developer Center, MetaAI app will broker to allow registration and configuration. When connection flow is started, the button dip links to the MetaAI app for approval. After approval, the flow seamlessly returns to your application to complete registration. Here, you'll handle the callback and complete the flow. Behind the scenes of this entire registration process, there is a secure key exchange that both authorizes and authenticates your app. During development, if you want to check that your integration works as expected using a physical pair of glasses, you can enable the developer mode setting from the MetaAI app. This mode skips application attestation, permission fetching, and the retrieval of the integration bundle in the Wearables Developer Center. To enable developer mode, open the MetaAI app, navigate to Apps, Settings, then App Info, and toggle the developer mode option. If you don't have a physical device, you can use the Mock Device Kit to simulate interactions with the classes. And same as with developer mode, skip unnecessary registration steps during development. Mock Device Kit is a framework that is designed to facilitate testing both successful and failure scenarios of SDK integrations. By leveraging Mock Device Kit's API, you can perform interactive and automated tests that involve simulating devices, mocking their capabilities, and altering their states. Whether you want to cover your app with integration tests, end-to-end -end tests, or just quickly iterate over the development, it enables you to do so. Using the Mock Device Kit in test is quite intuitive. For example, here we're pairing simulated RBMs, then mocking camera feed by providing it a video file and calling APIs to simulate putting the glasses on. Now, we're able to put assertions and interact with our app in test scenarios. With registration and testing out of the way, now comes the creative part. Let's see how we can leverage the SDK to bring our vision of our sample app to life. First, we want to start with enabling media streaming. Enabling media streaming in the application is very simple. From the streaming button in the Camera Access app, we make calls to the Camera Kit API in the SDK. We have Start and Stop functions. In order to start the camera, you will need to have a session between your app and the glasses. You have two options in how you create and manage the session. You can create a video session which will initiate and manage the connection only while the camera is active. You could also start a general session and then toggle the camera as needed during its lifetime to capture images. The key difference is how you expect your overall experience to work with the glasses, knowing there are user notifications and lifecycle signals tied to the session itself. We make it easy to manage streaming sessions in your app with simple API calls. For example, we added timer limits to this sample app that automatically terminate streaming sessions when expired. The implementation uses native timers that fire after the specific duration and directly stop the streaming session. The timer management is handled by the application layer, while the underlying streaming control is managed by the SDK. With everything in place, the app can now connect to AI glasses, stream live video, capture images, and handle sessions using timer controls. And this sample app is just the start. From here, you can use the glasses microphone to add voice command processing, run capture images through computer vision models for object recognition, integrate an LLM such as Meta's Llama to provide a chat interface, access the speaker system, and do much more. For example, we extended the camera access app by processing the media output from our SDK through computer vision models to perform card detection. This is just the beginning. There are many options for what you can create. Stay in touch with us to learn more about the Meta Wearables Device Access Toolkit and be among the first to explore new use cases with our AI glasses. Head over to developer.meta.com slash wearables for details. Thank you for joining this session. We can't wait for you to start building with us.